The South African man will soon have his name added to the Guinness World Records. 62-year-old Simon Ince. Simon Ince. Simon Ince. He's become the oldest person to swim from Simonstown to Roy Elf. If I've proven anything, I've proven that age doesn't really matter. And if you really want to put your mind and body together, you create a machine that can do anything, it's unstoppable. And that's what I proved. I proved it to myself, I proved it to children, and I proved it to other aging people. I think that's an important part there. In the cave, there's a challenge where others fear to go. To cross the waters of false bay, nothing but this people. How are you feeling? Strong and happy and relieved. Thinking all of this yeah, no, fine. slow mag and okay, nothing else in the water and I think all the things keep me hydrated. Okay, hey, jump on, I can't hang around you too long. Cool. Feed every half an hour. Every half an hour is fine. Um, okay, I'm taking whatever we give you. Yeah, I'll take whatever you give me. I'm yeah. not going to argue with you. In the water? Yes, enjoy. It does take a lot of focus and dedication. If you think that I'm now the eighth person ever to have swum across this bay, I think the gravity of that only hit me when I touched the other side of Royals and stood up and said, and looked back and said, hey, I've done it. King of the Bay. So that's 10 hours and 42 minutes and 30 seconds, and I feel good. <laughs> Training kicked in at the last minute, that's for sure. And now all I want is a steak and a cold beer. When I was done, Chris got in the other side and he swam to the boat to come and congratulate me. That was a special moment for me. Chris is not a, he's younger than me, believe it or not, but he's not exactly a, an athletic bull, um, but he made the effort to come all the way from Cape Town to find me and then to swim to the boat to congratulate me. And that touched me. I think it all started when I um, saw my dad half drowning in Cool Bay at the age of eight. He got caught in a rip current. I was eight, sitting on the beach watching my dad battle for his life. And eventually, some young students managed to pull him out. And at that point, I felt very helpless. And I think that's, that's when I decided I wanted to become a lifesaver. I never wanted to see someone drowned again. So. At the age of 10, I joined Strand Surf Lifesaving and became a nipper lifesaver. And of course, I was a keen swimmer at school too. And from lifesaving, I moved across to spearfishing, uh, all happening in False Bay, my own swimming pool. And that's really where the love started for, for, for swimming. The highlights of the swim is actually the five kilometer where I had the seal swimming next to me. He was like my little mentor, my little buddy. He was the guy 
pushing me through the cold water section of the, of the swim to get into the warm water. And it's, that seal was my little buddy for, for five kilometers. It took me 10 hours, 40 minutes, 42 minutes to be exact. If you have to think a further 18 minutes into that swim, it could actually mean the difference between life and death if you were suffering from hypothermia, which I wasn't. Um, but when you're swimming for that period of time, every minute counts. And so we would be very specific. 10 hours, 42 minutes, and actually 30 seconds. So Whittle Rock is a reef which is about 15 kilometers into the swim, um, just off Miller's Point. It's infamous for good fishing, but also infamous for great white sharks. And uh, in the 80s, I shot fish there, and I've also seen one of the biggest sharks I'd ever seen swimming in that particular area. So I knew when I was gonna swim over this rock, I had this vision of this old shark coming back and this time instead of just looking at me coming to take a bite out of me. The, the next point in the swim which I'd focused on had been to see the houses at Royals. That was a very important milestone in the swim. It meant that I knew I was very close to finishing. And as I got closer, the water warmed up, so did my demeanor, and the whole feeling of euphoria, of it's not far now. I knew I was four kilometers off. I knew that this was easy to finish, and I wasn't in any pain. Get in there, Simon. You so well. I had been fed well, including my whispers, and I was very grateful really to have a guy like Derek on the boat who knew my swimming abilities in cold water. I knew it wasn't time to pull me out yet, despite the fact that I probably lost speech and was mainly acting a little bit more erratically than I, what I should have been. I've got uh, a wife and two children. My son, Connor, he was very supportive of my swim and always said, Dad, you can do it. My older daughter, Michaela, uh, she wasn't that supportive. She said, Dad, are you sure you're fit enough? Because she never trusts my fitness. Um, and my wife said, after the swim, I'm going to burn your costume and I'm going to burn your goggles. You're never swimming again. So that's the family for you. But they are immensely proud of me. And the one that's probably surprised me the most has been my wife. She has really been very supportive and extremely proud of my achievements. Uh, probably more than I am. I'm going to donate all the funds to the Tiger Beck Children's Hospital Trust. And the reason why I'm doing this is because my younger sister had spent a lot of time in hospitals all around the country. And I'd seen a lot of young kids lying on their back, staring at the ceiling, waiting for their parents to come and visit them. And these children I felt really sorry for. If you're going to do something as big as this, make sure that you hit the, the Guinness Book of Records. That I did. <laughs> I'm Simon Ince. I'm South African. I'm proud of South Africa. And I'm almost 63, and I now hold the Guinness Book of Records for the oldest person crossing False Bay. Thank you. And there it is. Whoa! Whoa! Here I've got it. <laughs> Oldest man to cross Falls Bay. Yeehoo! <laughs>
mighty as you head towards your goal. As you head towards your goal. As you head towards your goal. You are proof of what it takes to grow. An example of what we may become. Never give up and surrender your dreams until the deed is done. A wise man once said, and he is one of the few, greatness never comes cheap. Get out of that zone, believe in faith, just leave, have no regrets. What you try, there's no failure, just keep. There's no failure, just keep. There's no failure, just keep.